that it's uh it is not plugged in you can slide this wire inside that if you've uh, fed the wire in on that nut in the back you should be able to pull the switch out enough to work on it and uh, this is there's no need to undo the ground or anything you want to remember where your wires were connected. You take the switch out and by pressing the plastic here, there's catches which allows you, when you press these in, it allows you to pull the switch out. And then you want to take this part out. This is like a safety. keeps With this out, the switch won't function. And uh, But you don't want to block your ability to, to, to do that safety feature. So the next thing you want to do is you want to take some sar uh, saran wrap. And this will prevent the sawdust from getting down inside the switch by simply placing, oops, by simply placing the saran wrap over the switch. And reinserting this piece, it will um, provide a protective covering. So what I'm going to do is is press this down in there. Now the switch, the switch functions, and now we simply pull the saran wrap. Can we pull the saran wrap down around the switch? And then we can we can simply put the switch back together. Simply uh, it's hard to do this and film at the same time. So uh, now I've got this switch I'm just going to press it back into place until it latches you'll feel it when it pops into place you make sure it's flush to where it's flush here flush here and you can see that now I can flip the switch but there's no opening anymore for the sawdust to enter into the switch and if I need to, I can still use the safety feature by pulling this out. So, if your uh, switch gets blocked with sawdust, it's also easy to disassemble the switch and remove the sawdust and then put it back together. And then you want to put this plastic on and you can trim off the excess with a pair of scissors. I'm just going to so you trim off this excess plastic so that it's not in the way. And you just reinstall the switch and you're good to go. So now I have a switch. It cannot be, um, it doesn't have an opening now for sawdust to get down inside of it. So you take your switch that you have fixed and now you simply just connect the wiring and install it. Yay.